Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go through my recent experience of trying the fasting mimicking diet. Now, the fasting mimicking diet is a five day diet where you have super low calories for each of those five days, um, and it basically induces the effects of a long term fast. So, the effect of a two or three day water fast where you're not eating any calories, except you're getting a small amount of calories each day, so your body's still getting the nutrients that it needs and it supposedly makes it easier over those five days, uh, but you still get the massive health benefits associated with long-term fasting. Now, it was really difficult, these five days of really low calories and hardly eating anything, um, but I really think it was 100% worth it for the massive health benefits that I'm going to go through in the rest of this video. So, as always, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, but let's get into it. I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when you're not around I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when you're not around Who's not So the fasting mimicking diet was developed by Dr. Volta Longo who specializes in longevity, in cancer research and all sorts of degenerative diseases including MS. And what his research was in was how do we get the benefits of a long-term fast? So that's two or three days of just drinking water essentially, so consuming no calories, but making it a lot easier on the body um, and on the person doing it as well from a mental perspective, but still allowing you to get the vital nutrients that you need. And so this five-day fast has really low calories. It's a high-fat, really low-protein and relative carb diet. Um, where on the first day you eat around 1,000, uh, 1,100 calories and then for the remaining four days it's around 750 calories. I'll include the split and everything in the links in the description. Um, but basically it's really low and obviously with that low protein as well you've really got to kind of focus on what you're eating. Um, most of the stuff that I was eating was a lot of vegetables so I was just making soups every day that were really high in nutrients but really low in protein so I could keep that going. So why was I putting myself through this? What are the benefits? Well, fasting, more and more research is coming out by the day of the real benefits of fasting. But it seems like the time where back in, if you think back to when we were sort of cavemen or whatever, and when we were evolving as a species, we wouldn't be able to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in between. That just wouldn't be the case. We would go hunting and we would find some food or whatever. We would eat quite a bit. And then there would be maybe a long period of time, maybe days at a time where we wouldn't eat anything at all. And so our body is really used to fasting and it's used to not having food supplies. And it turns out from the research that's going on at the minute that it seems like fasting was the time where our bodies would really repair itself. And so that's the main benefit that I wanted to get out of it for obviously battling my MS. Um, because one of the things that it really activates is autophagy which is a really quite a miracle process in the body where essentially what your body does, because it hasn't got enough calories, it ends up breaking down cells in the body that are either damaged or they aren't working quite as well. So basically the older, dirtier cells, it'll break them down and then basically use that breakdown of cells for food and then it'll end up producing new cells to replace them. And so that kind of blew my mind because with MS, exactly what all the treatments are trying to do is essentially kind of take down all the, all the immune cells that aren't working properly and allow the body to build itself back up some brand new immune cells that aren't going to attack itself. And so the fact that I found out that you can do this just by fasting absolutely blew my mind. Along with this, long-term fasting is also associated in really stimulating stem cell production. And so this induces your body to create new cells. So once again, similar to that previous idea in that your body will start producing fresh, new, healthy cells. That's the idea anyway. So it will produce cells that are, are not affected by the, the current defects that are going on in the body that are causing you to attack yourself with the autoimmune condition. And so th these were the kind of benefits that I really wanted to utilize from this diet. Along with that, the prolonged fast is known to downregulate IGF-1 production in the body, which is a pathway that essentially contributes to a lot of cancerous uh, issues. Uh, so by utilising those two factors, what happens is your body is breaking down the damaged immune cells that are autoimmune. So those are the ones that are attacking the myelin sheath 
um, accidentally. And then what it's doing after that is using the stem cells to produce new immune cells that have no autoimmune deficiencies, so they're not affected by it. So they're brand new cells that can go about their job and do things just fine and they won't go attacking themselves. That's the science behind it. And from Dr. Volta Longo's clinical studies and trials, they found that with mice, um, it reduced the severity of their MS disease in all the mice that were in the study and completely reversed the MS in 20% of mice. So when I found that out, I was literally 100% sold. Like this was definitely what something that I had to try no matter how hard it's going to be. I'll leave a link to that video with Dr. Volta Longo in the description just so you can check it out. It's really, really interesting. So anyway, I'll flip back now to some footage of when I was actually doing the diet, um, which was a few weeks ago now. So I'm well over it. I'm over the trauma. No, it wasn't that bad, actually. Um, but you can you can see in the videos just how manageable it can be, but it definitely is difficult. So it's something that you've really got to think about. And obviously with things like this, I am not a specialist. So just seek your own advice from your own doctor before trying anything like this, because it is quite a strenuous uh, fast to put on the body. So let's get into the video. I'll see you on the other side. First bit of food for the day then. So having some of these giant halky deaky olives. I think I have about five of these, which should be about 30 grams, weighing everything out precisely, obviously. That has turned out to, oh yeah, exactly 30 grams. So nice way to start off the food for the day. Now it's time for a coffee, which I'll be having with some, well, 30 milliliters of this Rude Health coconut milk, which I think is lovely. And um, it's an espresso coffee machine as well. So this is gonna real perk me up because caffeine really helps to Suppress your appetite when you're fasting and it also helps you to get a bit deeper into the fast. So let's get that caffeine going, baby. I used to like seeing you in town. Now it's strange when you're not around. I used to like seeing you in town. Hey guys, so that's the first day finished on the fasting mimicking diet. Um, feeling pretty good on the first day. I mean, I do do fasting on and off. And I do intermittent fasting most days anyway. Um, but today was, yeah, you know, 1,090 calories, pretty low. Um, but I'm feeling all right, to be honest. I had a, a really nice sweet potato soup with loads of vegetables in it. Um, I've been nibbling on a bit of celery and had some walnuts as well, just to up the fat content because it's quite... A high fat diet that you've got to do with the macro split so it's quite high fat low protein and moderate moderate carbs um and then i had a little bit of macro as well on the side um, but overall feeling pretty good today not feeling too hungry obviously it's going to get a bit tougher from here the calories are dropping tomorrow to 750 i think for the remaining four days so we'll see if it gets any harder which i'm sure it will uh, but feeling pretty good on day one not too hungry and yeah, ready for day two. Let's see how it goes. Another day, another vegetable soup. This one is very high carbs, low protein, pretty low in fat. Well, actually there's quite a bit of flat fat from the olive oil. Can't even talk on that down on food, but yeah, hopefully this is gonna be just as tasty as yesterday's sweet potato soup. Day three, another vegetable soup on the go today. Full of loads of really healthy, nutritious vegetables. We've got kale, celery, leeks, mushrooms, onions, a bit of broccoli, uh, sweet potato in there as well. So yeah, loads of healthy ingredients to kind of fill out my stomach without overdoing the calories, keeping obviously the carbs low. Protein very low and fat's quite high. So I've got some olive oil in here to keep the fats up a little bit. But yeah, absolutely starving right now. Just towards the end of day three. I've not eaten a lot so far today. So looking forward to this one. Hopefully it'll fill me up nicely. 
Yeah, so just coming towards the end of day three now. Well, um, just about to get to dinner time. I'm going to have some soup. So today's where the hunger has really started to set in a bit. Not eating much today. So I had five olives for lunch with a stick of celery. Wow. And then I've just been drinking black coffee and green tea alongside that. So feeling pretty hungry. Not not Nothing too crazy. I can still kind of walk about and stuff. I'm not on the verge of fainting or anything. But um, yeah, really looking forward to this soup now. And hopefully, you know, three days out of five, almost done now. So over the, over the hardest part and looking forward to getting some really good health benefits along the way. Day four and I literally just cannot wait now to not have to weigh all my food out precisely. 100 grams there, beautiful. These scales, by the way, are brilliant just for weighing stuff out, salter scales. I'll put a link in the bio for um, anyone who wants it. Yeah, another day on loads of vegetables. Got the soup steaming away in there. Quite looking forward to finishing this fasting now, but not feeling too bad, but yeah, could be better. Time to get blending. Today. Can't wait for this bad boy. Come on, quick up. There we have it, seasoned off with a little drizzle of olive oil to get some more fats in. Same meal I've had three nights in a row now, so it's not that exciting, but it kind of is because I'm starving. Hey guys, so it's day five now, just coming to the end. I'm about to have my final meal and I'm so, so ready for some proper food tomorrow. Get some meat inside of me, but having said that, it hasn't been too hard. I mean, it, it, it has been tough and I like, I'm starting to get some headaches now because my brain's just depleted of glucose, but for all the benefits that it's worth, I think it's completely worth it. It hasn't been as hard as you'd expect. I think maybe the fact that I've done it before um, probably helps and also that I do intermittent fasting on a daily basis so my body is quite used to fasting so oh but yeah I am excited just to get it done now and hopefully I'll have earned all the all the major health benefits that I can gain from it um sorry someone just walked past my window but yeah so definitely I'd say it's worth giving it a go always consult your doctor or GP first because it is quite taxing on the body it's quite it's a it's a big thing obviously dropping to that lower calories for five days in a row so you've got to be ready for it i've like lost quite a bit of fat as well but yeah i'm feeling quite good feeling quite energized so it's not like i'm literally a zombie on the last day i'm feeling all right so got my last meal now the soup yeah ready for tomorrow so there we have it then that was my experience of the fasting mimicking diet as you can see from the video it's really quite challenging the calories are really low um, and it does get tough, especially in the middle phases where your body's really just completely shocked that you're not giving it any calories. And then after that, it gets a bit used to it and it gets a bit easier. But um, yeah, definitely worth trying and looking into. As I mentioned before, always consult your doctor first because it really is quite a high uh, demanding fast that you're putting on your body. Uh, so you need to be checked that you are healthy enough to go ahead with it. But if, it, if you think it might be for you, then definitely do some research. I'll leave some links to some videos in the description to find out some more information, but the benefits are there to be seen. So definitely worth looking into. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you've got any questions at all in the comments because I might have missed out some bits because I did had no energy in those videos because I was so hungry. So if I did miss anything out, then yeah, just ask a question. I'd love to help out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when